Cal, again, really, really strong for you tonight. It looked like you had everything working. What were you seeing from him? What made him so effective? Everything working. You know, just three pitches for strikes. and uh, Just such a high-level competitor. I just keep challenging the rest of the, the, rest of the guys, like, you know, watch and learn because uh, he has good stuff. I'm not, I don't want to demean his stuff, but it's, it's the makeup. It's the competitiveness. It's the, the bigger the moment, the better he gets. Um, really, really good. Steph? Take us through that final inning for him. I mean, he's over 100 pitches. There's that delay. He's got the bases loaded. Just the way he kind of worked through that. And is the umpire okay as well? Yeah, the umpire's all right. He actually called a great game. He was really, really good. And the guy that came in was really good, too. So we were fortunate there. If you were, you come in, the Chinese strike zone may change. But the, the guy who came in did a great job, too. Um, you know, kind of a crazy inning. And that's kind of why we went with TD at the end, because we had to crank TD up. We were thinking he was about to face one of those guys. and. Uh, he just gutted through it. I mean, he's throwing harder on those pitches than he did it in the first inning. Um, and there was fives and sixes, and you're you're getting out like one of the best hitters in the country, not just in our league or in the stadium. Like Ike Irish is one of the better players in the whole country, and, and it was a battle. Um, and he just he just gutted it. I joked, Coach Parker. I said, I know you wanted to take him out, but you were scared to take the ball from him. You know, so that's why the pitch <laughs> pitch count went up a little bit. But he. Uh, he wasn't going to give that ball up in that moment. I, I know Cal too well. Robbie. You extended the lead there and brought TD. Is that just one of the situations where he, he got hot in the bullpen yeah. you had to bring him in he, there? He got real hot. And so and then we had the lefties coming up. Um, so we just we stayed with him at that point. That, I mean, once you're hot, you know, just you're better off. He'll be able to pitch here in the next two days too. So it wasn't too many pitches. Williams having a pretty good week. Uh, you know, what, what has he done to kind of catch your eye and then earn the opportunity to start this week? Um, you know, he played well on Tuesday. He always shows up. He's hard working. You know, with our young kids, we really like our young guys. We haven't played enough games to let them get out there and play and relax. And so um, he's probably played less than he deserved to this point. And we just finally felt like, hey, let's get him out there and see. He had a good fall hitting, good spring hitting and spring training. And just, you know, a lot of my young guys have just – We've played so many tight games that they haven't got out there enough. So we bit the bullet on Tuesday, and um, I'm glad. You know, you see, he's seeing the ball well. You see him in the box. He's he's not chasing pitches. He's getting in good counts. Um, he's got good, hand, you know, hand-eye coordination. Benjamin, uh, Bruce Reese is two hits for Logan Kohler. Uh, what's uh, was he doing well tonight, and what's it what mean for him to just be in a groove here down the stretch? It'd be huge. I mean, I keep telling him that. Um, he played really well. I mean, he's been he's in that he's in the Palmero every day with Goat. Um, you know, he's one of my masters guys, so he doesn't go to class as much as some of the others. So he's hitting, he is working. Um, it was nice to see him get two balls there to his pool side, and um, you know, extra base hits. He's, he's he's been such a good player over his career, and he struggled. And uh, you know, usually this game evens out. I'm hoping it evens out for him. So. Going off of that, I mean, we saw him at Ole Miss too. Struggled, you know, defensively, which he hasn't much this season. I guess was it just a matter of you know offense translating a bit to his defense, and because it looked like he was more comfortable out there today on both both sides. Yeah, I mean, I guess. I mean, you know, you're on the road, um, lost the one ball up, up in the sky. You know, and probably probably sat under it too early. Um, but he's been well, he he hadn't hit as much as we'd like, but he's played pretty good defense. I thought last week was the defensive stuff was abnormal, and maybe because he was struggling, but. He's played good defense all year. I'm just, we need to get that back going. Steve. Chris, Steve Marchand, I mean, is he, is he changing the way you evaluate players these days, the way he runs the bases and can bunt with some pressure on the defense? Because it just seems like you had a you had a roster full of those guys you almost win every game. Yeah, it's a, he's a special player. He was he was really uh, excited Burke Masters was here today. You know, uh, he spent some time with him. Um, but he's a special player. He, uh, you know, he just, he just does it all. And, you know, you can say, hey, well, that's an error on that guy. and, and But he puts that pressure on you. You know, he puts the pressure on you to make that play. And next thing you know, that, to me, it may have been the play of the game. Because, you know, 2-1 to 4-1, you just feel like you just gave it away and gave us a cushion. And we just seem to play a lot more relaxed after that. Cam. Cal, I think, had two strikeouts in the first three innings, nine in the last four. What's that kind of say about him? And how unique is it to have a guy who seems to get stronger as he continues to go? That's him and low. You know, they do. They, they get stronger as the game goes on. It's the it's the competitive juices. You know, you're, you're really getting those guys out there and competing. And um, in all seriousness, it's hard to take the ball from him at the end of the game. He doesn't want to come. He didn't want to come out there at the end. Um, 
but he was exhausted after that last, you know, set up set of pitches he had to go through. I mean, their leadoff's a good player too. He went through their leadoff and, and get back to, to Iris there. It was it was impressive. Steve, you mentioned Burke Masters being here. I mean, number one, how special is it that you have teams like the seventy seventy one group and then the nineteen ninety guys who can come in here and be around your guys? Also, too, what does that mean to this team to see those guys come back and be a part of all that? Well, you know, you have to explain it to them a little bit. Like they don't under. I said, hey, you know the guy that always hits the grand slam on the video, like, and he's the chaplain of the Cubs. They they think that's really cool. You know, uh, he's gonna spend some time around the ball club. It, it's always neat having having our former players. I mean, this this program was built on a lot of great players that came through here, special players, and uh, even the seventy seventy one team. Like I, you know, I joked with a couple of them. You know. Dude, I was on campus then. My dad was going to school here during that time, so I think that's a pretty cool, cool thing. And to see that many guys come back is, is pretty impressive. And they they were sure to remind me that they were the ones who started all this, which is what every great team says when they come back. So uh, that was a fun group to be around. Rob, you said Tuesday. I think the low was fine. Just had the back tighten up on him, whatever. How's his week been? Kind of leading up to the morning start. He's been normal all week. Been normal bullpen, normal throwing, normal everything. So, uh, got a massage, so that may have helped him. So, he's probably just trying to get a massage every week. I think. <laughs> so, yeah. Doug, 